I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Bali, Indonesia. And right now, me, my wife, and my son, we're staying at the Sofitel Bali Nusa Dua, which is a, it's a really nice resort. They gave us a really, really impressive room. So let's walk through the hotel. I'm gonna give you a tour of the Sofitel Bali now. So Sofitel is located in Nusa Dua, and Nusa Dua is in the southern part of Bali. It's, and this whole area, it's kind of like a, it's, it's a really quiet area. There are lots and lots of resorts in this area. This is the main lobby area and it's a huge circular building. Look at all that wood up there. And then over on this side, this is the lobby cafe. And you can sit here, you can have a coffee, you can have a drink. The Balinese breeze is fantastic. All right, let's go. And we're going down, yeah, we're going to ground. Ground level. Ground level is where the pool is, where everything is, you know, the restaurants, uh, where all you can, you can see the full tropical beauty of Bali. The reason that my wife and I came to Bali on this trip is because I was doing some work for Accor Hotels, uh, a host for some of their food TV shows. And then they offered, they invited Ying and I to stay for a couple nights at Sofitel. So it's a real honor to stay here. Or I'm not paying for the stay, uh, but it's really, uh, it's very nice of them to invite me. And this is a really, really nice place. And they've given us a really, really nice room. Okay, but now that we're on the ground floor, this is where the, the real beauty of the hotel begins for me. You can already see all of just the tropical greenery, all the flowers and plants. The main buffet restaurant is right over there. And then there's a, a bar right here as well. But I'm gonna show you the buffet restaurant tomorrow morning for breakfast. So I'm gonna wait to show you that. Uh, but now I'm just, this is the whole pool section. And the pool section is, it's really impressive. If you ever come here, you're gonna love the pool. The pool is huge. I haven't, I don't think I've even figured it all out yet. But it, there's just multiple like canals of swimming pools and then it goes all the way over there and there's fountains, there's trees in the middle of the pool. It's an impressive swimming pool. This is right in the center of the swimming pool. So there's a lot of swimming pool on this side and a lot of swimming pool on this side. Uh, the design is really, really unique and interesting. I think it's sort of Balinese, but very modern, elegant at the same time. Let's go check out the ocean real fast. And just check out how the, the, the pool just keeps on going. You can see the pool and it just keeps on going and going and going. Oh, this is like a, like a bit of a jacuzzi section of the swimming pool. And if you're coming out here onto the ocean, onto the beach, there's a restaurant here where you can eat. And then the beach is right up here. Oh wow, it's really, really low tide right now. May as well just quickly stick my feet in the water. Oh yeah, it's really, really cool and refreshing. But it's not the, not the best, not the most beautiful beach you'll ever see, but it is nice. The water is clean and very clear. One of the reasons I really love to come to Bali is especially for the Balinese food and also the very unique Balinese culture. You're gonna love our room, our room is, our room is just awesome. You'll we're just you'll see. Oh, they have four four floors of rooms, but they hooked us up with a bottom floor. And the reason that the bottom floor I think is the best. Well, I guess if you have the fourth floor, you, you might get a nice view of the of the hotel and maybe even see the ocean. But if you can get a, a bottom floor, I think it's the best. And welcome into our room. It's a king bed room, but it's really big, it's really spacious, and it's, the bath bathroom is over on this side, the bedroom is right here, the bed is here, but the first thing that I have to show you before I walk you through this hotel room is this like insane snack table that they gave us right as we checked in. It looks like a, an ancient ruins, like, like the Acropolis with snacks all over it. Okay, check this out. I gotta have a strawberry real fast. Oh, that's a good strawberry. Bathroom is over here to the left-hand side. You have the giant tub 
Yeah, over here on the left-hand side is the, you've got your own little private cubicle here. And then I like how they have all of the bathroom accessories within this little box here rather than all sitting out. So you open this up, open this up, you've got your, your shaver, your comb, your toothbrush, your sewing kit, your little pads, your, um, what are these called? Earbuds, you've got something. I have no idea what this is. Do you know what this is, you? Mm -hmm. What is it for? Oh, okay, this is for your skin and everything is nice and tidy. Right hand side over here, this is the shower. Check out the, the gigantic shower head up there. It's like, a, it's like a foot long. Let's move back out into the main part of the room. Over here is the whole mini bar station. There's a sofa. Oh, and then of course, the main function of any room, the bed. Oh yeah, it really is like a cloud. It's a really, really nice bed, really, really fluffy. Okay. And now we are ready for what is probably the best feature about this room, which is the patio outside and the swimming pool. This is the reason why having a, a room on the, on the ground floor, on the bottom floor is so good because you have a, a patio which leads to pool access so you can just jump in the pool and it's not a it's not a private pool but it is the part of the whole network of public pools so you can jump in the pool here it is pretty much private you have this little section that nobody else really is going to come into so you can sit here you can hang out in the pool but then at the same time you can sort of meander your way through the 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 river of swimming pool into the main pool and there's even a swimming pool bar there as well Okay, and on that note, oh wow, the water's actually quite cold to be honest with you. I'm making my way over to the, the water in pool bar. Oh, and I'm taking the, the scenic water route. Oh, and by the way, you can also have dinner right here next to the pool. Oh, partly why it's so cold is because back there there's no sun in the afternoon. I need some sun really fast. Oh, the pool is freezing right now. And they also have food here too. I see they have a, the menu. They, you can order some pizzas, you can order some sandwiches and some snacks and sit here and hang out. The soda water was excellent. I'm on my way back to the room now. Oh, it's cold now with no sun. It's so cold. Yes. Okay, and now back to our room. Oh, that was fantastic. Oh, hi, Micah. Hi. Micah. Micah. Micah, say hi. Micah, isn't it cold? Micah, say hi. Hey. Micah, isn't it cold? Hey. Oh, boom, 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 boom. They really hooked us up with a really nice room. Uh, so big thank you to Sophie Tell for having us and for inviting Ying and I to stay here. And one more thing I'm gonna show you tomorrow is the breakfast buffet. So stay tuned for the breakfast buffet and that's gonna complete this tour. Good morning, had a fantastic sleep last night and we are up this morning for the breakfast buffet. And breakfast buffets at Sofitel are usually just amazing. There's pizza, there's quiche, there's all the hot uh, breakfast items, there's eggs, there's sausages, oh there's omelets here, there's streaky bacon. And then over on this side, I don't think I've even gone through like a quarter of what's available. Oh, there's Indian food, yes. And then there's a huge selection of cheeses and cured meats and bread. Oh yeah, Sophie Tell is a French hotel. They are not gonna skip on the bread. The bread is amazing. And over here, oh, we have more Indonesian style food. There's some shumai. 
Oh, nice. Uh, black coffee, please. Black coffee. Thank, Thank you. you. Any day that I can have sambal for breakfast, I'm very, very happy. And this particular one, the sambal ijo, which is the green chili sambal, I absolutely love it. But I should tell you before I start eating this that I'm eating it totally wrong. All of this should be eaten with the, the rice porridge. But since I've been eating so much lately, I'm gonna skip the rice porridge and only eat all the stuff and the sambal. By the way, that's a bite of duck. Braised duck. Mm. Oh, with that sambal. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, and here comes the coffee. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. There's nothing like taking a giant bite of chili sauce and following it with a, a hot beverage. That just amplifies the flavor. I kind of tend to overdo it with the sambal, but I, I, I honestly just cannot help it. I love sambal so much. I could just, and this is a braised egg. Go in for some of that sambal for this, for this as well. I'll go in, I'll go in for that quiche. This is a, a spinach quiche. The sambal makes all the difference. Mm -hmm. We're gonna sit here and relax and finish breakfast, and then I will talk to you right after breakfast. All right, so that brings us to the end of this Sofitel Bali Nusa Dua tour. Really a nice place, and it's been an honor to have a couple nights to stay here. Again, I, I was doing a little bit of work for Accor Hotels, and then they invited me to stay here, so I didn't pay for the stay, but I was curious, and I just looked up the rates. Looks like this room is about $500 per night for two adults and a baby and then you have the pool access and that includes breakfast as well. The service at this hotel has been fantastic and I talked with a lot of the local staff who are really, really nice and very friendly as well. A couple things, uh, I think this is, uh, well, okay, the beach is okay but not fantastic for swimming. It is nice to look at especially, uh, but if you really wanna swim in the beach, the beach is not amazing but the, the swimming pool is amazing. And then another thing is that this area is Nusa Dua, and it's kind of a, it, it, it is a touristy area, lots and lots of resorts, and so the one drawback is that you can't really just walk outside and find street food or just walk around. It's a real resort area and very clean and very spaced out, so you really got to take a taxi somewhere to get out into the city and to, to get some local food. So that's one of the drawbacks. Uh, but this is a really amazing hotel if you just want to come here, you want to stay here. You actually, yeah, Ying and I haven't even left. We don't want to, we don't want to leave here. If you come to stay at this hotel, you don't, this is the type of hotel that you don't want to leave. And you have everything here as well. So, that's my review of the Sofitel Bali Nusa Dua. It's been a fantastic stay. Thank you very much for watching and please remember to subscribe. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next video.